Hello and welcome to my uh, new class. And I'm very happy that once again I'm teaching you in uh, online by online videos. And today uh, we are going to start the next reading, which is reading C. And this reading is from the unit one. So in unit one we have studied uh, the Jamun tree, and, and in reading B we have, we have studied beautiful blue planet. And in reading C we are going to study uh, Salumrada Timaka. As we, as usual we do now. Uh, before we go through the words, uh, before we go through the lesson, or before I explain you the lesson, uh, we learn the words meaning. And I have told you so many times in my video that these words meaning help us to understand the lesson well. So I just want you to go through this all the words meaning which I am going to give you now. So today I am going to give you 15 words meaning. I hope that you will be uh, learning it and uh, when you learn it, it will help you to understand the lesson well. So the first lesson, uh, first uh, uh, word meaning from the lesson is, uh, number one is tending, tending means surviving, number second is untiring, untiring meaning not getting tired and next one is persistent, persistent meaning casting for a long time means for long time duo means both or pair extraordinary which means uncommon and eminence means huge and the next one number seven is crusader crusader meaning warrior next one is number eight crisis crisis meaning difficult time or extreme danger next number nine is quarry quarry means a place where sand stone etc is dug out of the ground number 10 is a stretch of means which means a continue area of land or or water a, con a continuous area of land or water next number 11 is to raise to raise meaning to take care of a person or an animal or plant until they are completely completely grown next number 12 is undaunted which means still determined and enthusiastic despite problems or lack of success number 13 is afforestation which means plantation of trees on an area of land in order to make a forest that's called afforestation number 14 is uncompromising which means not giving space to excuses and number 15 is citation citation means a statement mentioned in an official record so these are the words meaning which uh, are important to learn that will help you understand the, uh, understand the lesson well so before i explain the lesson i just want to remind you that you have to write the new words verb degree opposite gender those are compulsory to write and those uh, you you will have to write the words meaning you will have to write two times and at least uh, 15 uh, new words 15 verb 15 degree 15 opposite means all you have to uh, find out 15 from the lesson now uh, we will see the lesson which is uh, reading c salu marada uh, when you listen the name i think uh, the name of the lesson you might feel awkward uh, that what kind of name is this like salu marada but uh, this is the name of uh, one of the well-known personalities of Karnataka. So we will get uh, more information about her. So we are going to study about Salu Marada Thimakka. And she was an environmentalist. And she was one of the well-known uh, well-known personalities of the state of uh, Karnataka. And she has earned a recognition or identity due to her untiring efforts in planting and tending, means taking care uh, or serving. Uh, uh, probably 284 banyan trees and those uh, banyan trees was planted along the highway and this uh, 284 banyan trees uh, this covered distance up to or of 4 kilometers so let me repeat it for you again Salumarada Timaka she was an environmentalist and she was one of the well-known personalities of the state of Karnataka and she won her identity she won her uh, earned her recognition due to untiring efforts in the field of uh, uh, untiring uh, efforts in planting and uh, tending care or taking care of the banyan trees 284 banyan trees along the highway and this uh, 
these 284 banyan trees she planted um, in distance uh, which covered at least uh, 4 uh, kilometers and her persistence work has earned several national and international awards means she continued work uh, in the field of environment and so, so that she has earned uh, several national and international awards uh, in her life and let us know something more about Saluma Timaka. She has also been honored with the prestigious or achievement national award of India for her selfless works in the field of environment and she has also a uh, US uh, environmental organization called uh, Timakas Resources for Environmental Education. Uh, let, uh, let me uh, tell you this. US U.S. Uh, Envir environmental organization is this is one of the organization and this organization which is from USA or U.S. this organization has given uh, their own organization or they have given their uh, organization the name Salu or uh, Timakas Resources of Environmental Education means U.S. organization is named after Timakas name. So, uh, this is what uh, Salu Timakka about we have a uh, little bit known. Let me give you a brief history about Salu Timakka. So, Salu Timakka, she was born in a village and the name of the village is Hulikal. The name of the village is Hulikal. H-U-L-I-K-A-L. So, Salu Timakka, she was born in a village named uh, Hulikal and this Hulikal uh, village falls under Magdi Taluk of Bang Bangalore rural, uh, rural District. So this Hulikal village comes under Magdi Taluk of Bangalore rural district and she was known as Thimakka. At that time she was only known as Thimakka when she started planting or when she was a child she uh, she was only known as timaka but uh, slowly she uh, she uh, earned her identity we will see that so samamarta timaka she was born in a village hulikal and this hulikal village was under magri taluk uh, of bangalore district and uh, in her childhood she was known as timaka only and then uh, in her childhood she did not even go to school or she did not get her formal education and uh, from an early age it means in her childhood only uh, she worked as a laborer in quarry quarry is uh, you know i have told you that quarry is a place where sand stone etc is dug out of the ground or in other words we can say that is mines so in her child uh, in her childhood she was working as a laborer in quarry or in mines which was near to her home and she was married off or uh, uh, Timakka's parents uh, uh, married her off to a person whose name was Chikaya and Chikaya was a cattle herder. Let me repeat again. Salumarada Timakka in her childhood she was a laborer and she was working as a, a laborer in a quarry in mines which was nearby her home and she was married off or she got married to a man whose name was Chikaya and Chikaya was a cattle herder. Now, the both of them, the couple, means uh, husband and wife, uh, Salumarada Timaka and Chikaya, both of them, uh, they wanted children, but uh, they were unable to have their children even after 25 years of their married life. They wanted to have the child, but uh, they did not have due to some uh, uh, medical problem or uh, uh, physical problem, and then. One day both of them, uh, husband and wife duo, means both of them decided to uh, plant trees or they decided to plant saplings or uh, they decided to plant uh, the plants in order to overcome from the sadness and empty feeling of their lives. Means uh, when they got married and, and even after 25 years of their marriage when they did not have uh, uh, their Ch uh, child or they did not have the children then they were sad and they were living a life of sadness and they were living their life it uh, means their life was uh, full of emptiness and so that in order to overcome from the empty emptiness and sadness of their life they decided to plant the trees 
or they decided to plant the plants and then uh, that was around 50 years ago means 50 years uh, ago they decided to plant the uh, saplings or they decided to plant the trees uh, then from there started a journey of untiring love and selfless service of an ordinary couple toward an uh, extraordinary mission means both of them were simple as uh, they were simple ordinary couple and uh, when they decided to uh, plant trees in order to overcome from the sadness and empty feeling of their life when they took this decision uh, at that time they did not think that uh, this can be extraordinary mission means they were just doing the ordinary mission common mission but they did not know at that time that this can be extraordinary or uncommon work or uncommon mission so they did this work with untiring love and selfless service means they love the trees they love the plants as their own children and they serve these plants and trees selflessly means when they planted the uh, saplings, they did not have the feeling that we will get something uh, from or one day we will get something uh, by doing this. They did not think something like that, but they just kept, they keep going uh, planting the uh, plants and the trees. And a mission to raise as common, uh, as many trees as possible with love and care uh, as their own children. So both of them, they decided to plant as many trees as possible with love and care and as their own children this is important they did not only plant the the trees or the saplings just for namesake or just for time pass but they planted these saplings or these trees with love care and most important thing is as their own children so this is what little bit I have give you, uh, given you the brief history of Salu Maradati Makkah. Now we will know her journey to become Salu Maradati Makkah means how she became from Thimakka to Salu Maradati Makkah. So this is what we will know. So uh, we knew little bit about Salu Maradati Makkah and then I have given you a brief history about Salu Maradati Makkah and now I am giving you her journey to become Salu Maradha Timakka means how Timakka became Salu Maradha Timakka. Now, Timakka and her husband, both of them decided to plant trees along the roadside, means both sides of the road, and they selected the road to the next village, means from their village or uh, uh, just in their, uh, from their village or uh, next to their village we can say there was one of the uh, one more village and the name of the village was Kudur K U D U R so the name of, of the village was Kudur and this Kudur village uh, you know a, uh, from Salumaradha uh, Timakka's home or let me say from Magri Taluk uh, from Magri Taluk no no from Hulikal to Kudur from the village uh, Hulikal to Kudur uh, on this highway or on this road there was not a single tree so you know it was imminent hardship for the travelers or those travelers whoever uh, travels on that uh, road or on that uh, way you know the travelers they used to uh, have hardship on traveling on that road because there was no single tree or plant on that way and especially in summer season uh, because it was so hot during the summer season so the travelers they had imminence hardship for uh, much difficulty in traveling in that way because no, not a single plant even single tree was not there so uh, Sanamara Temaka and her husband both of them decided to plant uh, the trees in the uh, road of Kudur and then they started grafting means to plant grafting meaning to plant so both of them started to plant saplings from ficus ficus is uh, we know as banyan uh, means in hindi we call that bargad bargad kapit so both of them decided to uh, plant the ficus and banyan trees and uh, uh, in their village or uh, near their village there were plenty or much uh, ficus or banyan tree or banyan sapling so both of them decided to or uh, they chose only ficus or banyan tree to plant in the uh, kudur road 
they grafted 10 saplings in the first year uh, in the first year they decided to plant only 10 saplings and these 10 sapli saplings they uh, you know uh, planted or uh, stressed of 4 kilometers means uh, these 10 saplings 10 uh, plants they uh, grafted or planted in the distance or a stretch or expand of 4 kilometers of the road which led to Kudur village and then they increased the next year they increased the number into 15 means first year uh, in the first year they decided to plant only 10 saplings and the next uh, year second year they decided to plant 15 um, uh, saplings and continued their efforts and they kept increasing the number of saplings uh, with each year passing by and then they not only planted the sapling but also tended to the young saplings means this both uh, Salomada Timaka and uh, Chikaya both of them they not only planted the sapling but they tended care to the young sapling means they took care of the young saplings how let's see each morning every day or each morning they start their uh, journey or let's say they start from their home with four pots filled with water let's say in other word four bucket of water it's written pots so four pots both of them means both of them took two two uh, pots which was filled with water and they used to uh, plant uh, they used to uh, pour out the water in or they used to supply the water to the young saplings see how they took care of the plants we are seeing that so every morning each morning this uh, couple both of them you know they took four pots filled with water and they watered the saplings and when the pots were empty they refilled the pots from the ponds and from the well and they continued uh, watering the sapling while uh, going uh, toward the Kuduro uh, road and while returning from the Kuduro road also they did the same means while going to uh, toward uh, the Kudu road they uh, just uh, watered the saplings which they had planted and while they uh, were returning from the Kudu road they also continued watering the plants and so thus uh, they were doing the extraordinary mission so they treated the sapling as their own children that i have already told you and this was the everyday routine which they followed they also protected the sapling see number one thing that uh, we have seen how they took care of the uh, the saplings number one by watering the plants and number second is they protected the sapling from grazing uh, cattle by fencing them with thorny serbs means when they had planted the sapling not, not they only left after planting planting the sapling but they watered the sapling and then second thing they did they uh, they fenced them means they uh, they uh, in order to protect the saplings they put thorns the sub thorn subs around the uh, saplings and then you know they their tireless effort began to bear fruits means the the result was seen of their tireless work and what was that now the saplings grew up into large and strong trees so they had only planted the saplings or let's say only they have planted the plants baby plants let's say but when they continued watering the plants the saplings when they uh, uh, put fence around the saplings then you know their tireless work began bearing fruit means it be, uh, uh, there was result so what was the result the, the result was that the sapling or the baby plant or the plants that grew into large and strong trees and then the couple planted the sapling mostly in monsoon season let's say in rainy season they planted mostly the saplings why because of this reason why it's because you know if they plant the sapling in rainy season means uh, the saplings will get easily rain from the rain water so that uh, the uh, the couple they they did they do not have or they did not have uh, the difficulty of watering the plants so that they chose 
द मॉनसून सीजन लेट मी रिपीट अगेन दे प्लांटेड द सैपलिंग इन मॉनसून सीजन इट्स बिकॉज दैट ऑटोमेटिकली द द सैपलिंग्स मे गेट द रेन वॉटर एंड इट मे बी यूज फॉर देयर ग्रोथ ना द कपल प्लांटेड मोर देन थ्री हंड्रेड ट्रीज इन टोटल इट्स रिटर्न इफ यू रीड इन बुक यू विल फाइंड दैट Uh, more than 300 trees in total they planted and it's written the asset value means the value the personal property we can say the total trees which they had planted 300 trees they had planted and the value the asset value of 300 uh, trees are 1 point more than 1.5 million rupees so see that 300 trees and they planted and the asset value the total value of those trees was were 1.5 million rupees now timakas has been uh, passed away in 1991 timakas has been passed away in 1991 but even uh, her husband was passed away she continued her uh, mission with along with her undaunted means never giving up and then The government of Karnataka has taken over the management of the trees now. Now, see, she has become old, and uh, when her husband passed away, even then she continued doing the same job. She did not uh, feel lonely, but uh, she had the responsibility. She knew her responsibility, and see that uh, so that she kept on doing what she did with her husband. But now, state of uh, the state government of Karnataka uh, has. uh taken over the management of the trees now now timakka was referred to as salumarada timakka let me remind you we are uh, uh studying about how salumarada uh, how timakka became salumarada timakka so now timakka was referred to as salumarada timakka means timakka was given the name salumarada timakka after her work got popular uh, popular or among the people so when her work was popularized among the people so uh, she was given a name in order to respect her in order to uh, give her praise salu uh, so she was given the name salumarada so what is the meaning of salumarada salumarada means a row of trees salumarada means a row of trees in kannad language in which language kannad language now she was given the name to honor her dedication means the people or let's say the yeah, people of karnataka or state government of karnataka you know they gave the uh, name salumarada in order to respect her dedication toward planting the sapling or preserving the environment despite even after numerous hardship means numbers of hardship numbers of problems she faced uh, when her husband passed away even then she continued doing her job